Think of a woman who's married to a guy and they, they have a joint income, they both work, and they're at sixty or seventy thousand dollars a year. They're middle class, but she can't afford to do what she wants to do when she has a baby, which is to, to spend a couple of years with the baby. An awful lot of affluent women on the Upper West Side of New York who can make that choice and who have careers choose to stay at home with their children, which is good for the child, it's good for the mother, it's good for the dad, it's good for everybody, it's good for the community. Well, let's give middle class women the kind of economic buffer whereby they can do the same thing. In all of these ways, we have possibilities with the universal basic income of augmenting incomes by dollar amounts, yes, but what we are really augmenting is options. We are augmenting dignity. We are augmenting independence. We are augmenting human flourishing. I hope you will agree these are goals that not only deserve our economic support, but our enthusiastic moral support. Thank you. Thank you.